Wayne, thanks for inviting me over to your office. Since I live around the corner this was much easier than meeting at my office in the city. I am glad that it worked out. And I thought that seeing what we do here at Acme Enterprises might help you understand some parts of my project that are otherwise a little confusing. It does. How is the project going? Pretty well. Getting on people's schedules for interviews has been a little harder than I thought it would be, but I am making progress. And I was able to add a couple of questions to another survey of staff that we are already doing for another project, so I don't have create my own. That is good to hear. Keep doing your best to implement the data collection plan. With real-world projects like this we have to be flexible and so just continue to keep me posted on how things are going. I definitely understand that the workflow in your job doesn't revolve around my semester schedule, so we will find ways to make it work. Most important is that you are getting some real experience in what it takes to conduct a useful needs assessment. Most definitely. I am learning a great deal. It is one thing to read about it in the book and quite another to make it a reality within the chaos of our work here at Acme. Good, that is one of the goals. While I have you here, can you tell me what we are supposed to do with the data once we get it collected and analyzed? Good question. In many ways getting the data and analyzing it is easier than applying it in decisions. That is likely why so many good research and data reports simply gather dust on our bookshelves. That is very true around here. That is very true most everywhere. So we must plan carefully about how the information we have collected can be used to guide decisions, while also being aware that the results of our work are just one piece in a complex decision-making process. As I like to say half-joking, I believe in evidence-based decision-making, but I am glad that my boss doesn't rely solely on data when making decisions about my promotions. Same for me. Data and evidence have a role to play in decisions, but so do values, ethics, political context, and other variables as well. So as needs assessors it is partially our role to help decision-makers through this process offering objective data from our assessment when it is helpful and putting in place processes whereby decision makers can examine the evidence, discuss the context, and move toward an informed decision. Wow, this is much more complex than just doing a couple of interviews and a survey. It is. But that is also the fun and value of it. While identifying the challenge and collecting relevant information are essential to a successful assessment, they are not sufficient. We must follow the process through and work with decision makers to understand what the evidence suggests and how it can be used to guide their work. At that point then we generally take a back seat and let the decision makers do their job in terms of deciding what to do. Though in some cases we are also a decision maker in the context and stay involved throughout. I am most concerned about just getting them engaged. My boss is excited but it is not her decision alone. That is typical. I would start the conversation with her soon. You should work on a plan that engages decision makers in a dialogue about the results of your assessment. Maybe it starts out with a short presentation of the findings, and then you can go into some group discussion about how this new information fits with current policies. Then a few days later bring the group together again to discuss what should happen next and maybe even use some group decision-making tools to ensure that there are some decisions made. You will want to strike a healthy balance of conversation and decision-making, too much of either one without the other is not healthy. That is a good idea. I am headed to a meeting with her now about another project, but I can start the conversation with her today and then we can have a planning meeting when she gets back from her vacation. Wonderful. It sounds like you are headed in the right direction. And remember, there is no perfect needs assessment. Every assessment is unique and each has its positives and negatives. 
what is most important is that you are learning along the way and then applying those lessons the next time you get an opportunity to do an assessment. Great, that takes off lots of pressure. Good. And remember to keep me posted on how things are going. Thanks for stopping by Professor. This was much easier than coming to campus. And if I have questions I will post them online so others can see them too. Okay, I will talk with you soon.